here I am standing beside my favorite tree where I was the fairy godmother. No, I wasn't. Cut. <laughs> I was Cinderella's mother. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sherry Talbot and I've been playing in the woods since 1978. But it was a fantastic place to start because I started as an extra on the set of Romeo and Juliet that uh, Frank Southerning directed. And it was wonderful. And I got to do costumes too. So before I ever uh, stepped foot on stage, I was backstage. I spent years backstage in costuming and props. And I got a chance to do a walk on in a chorus as part of the chorus for Canterbury Tales. And that was the last show that Fletch directed. So I was very happy to be part of that. I had one line, only one line in that whole show. And I walked across the stage. I delivered that line and I got a laugh and I was hooked. From then on, I, I was just in love with Oak Grove. And Oak Grove has given me so many chances to, to be on stage, to act in all sorts of different character roles. And it's really amazing um, for, for testing your strengths, your, your grit, to um, be in front of an audience and just give them whatever you have to give. So to me, the Grove is pure magic and it's full of wonderful friends that I've had since that horrible date that I mentioned earlier. Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a minute and say hi and talk about Oak Grove a little bit and how amazing it is. My first show out there was Lend Me a Tenor um, and I am still grateful and thankful that I was able to be part of that production and be introduced to the amazing community that Oak Grove is. It's uh, one of a kind. Uh, people are fantastic and even more so when they come together for a joint cause. And Oak Grove embodies a rich history of that and of people loving one another and taking care of one another. And I think that's something we all really, really need and really, really miss right now. So love to all of you. Uh, keep it strong, keep it going. And I can't wait to see what next season brings. Love you. Hi, my name's Linda Petsky and I've been playing in the woods since 1983. My very first show was Blythe Spirit where I lived up in the sound booth. What does the Grove mean to me? Well, to me, the Grove means friendships. You come out here and you become part of a community. The community gives you all these wonderful friendships. They teach you so much how to uh, cover furniture, how to do different kinds of painting. It's wonderful. And then your friendships become like family. So the Grove, come on out when we're open again. Hello, I'm David Clatterbuck, and I had the pleasure of being part of Oak Grove from 1985 until 2003. My first show, very appropriately, was Amadeus under the direction and production team of Terry and Frank Southerington. And boy, what a great summer that was. Little Paul Southerington running around, getting on everybody's nerves, and now look at Paul. He's one of the leaders of the Grove. I got to do a lot of wonderful shows there. I made a lot of wonderful friends that I'm still very close to. I will always treasure my time at the Grove and I look forward to getting to go back and seeing more fantastic shows in the future. Just keep doing what you're doing because it's an, an incredible place. Hi, I'm Jackie Patterson and I've been playing in the woods somewhere around the mid nineties. We're not quite sure what date. Um, the most special part to me about the Grove is the people. Um, I have met the loves of my life there. The loves of my life being my friends that are like family to me and my husband, the love of my life that I met during Les Liaisons. Hi there, I'm Charlie Lawson, and I've been a member of Oak Grove since 1976. I'm one of the old timers. Uh, I love Grove. I started by playing my bassoon in the orchestra, and they needed some special effects, so I asked if I could do it, and I did it, and I was hooked. I've done special effects, uh, makeup, costuming, lighting tech, sound tech, stage manager, uh, I ran concessions for a couple of years, all the way up to producer. Being a producer was an honor, and I cherish all my memories, and I cherish any memories to come. Uh, keep on stroking with Oak Grove. You can't go wrong. Thank you. 
Hi, Grove friends. My name is Erin Tapscott Stabell, and I first played at the Grove in 1995 in Man of La Mancha. And to me, the Grove is magic and friends and friends that have become family. And that is what I cherish about my memories from the Grove. Hi, I'm Rosalind Collins. You might know me as Roz. And I've been playing in the woods here since before I was born. Um, yes, my mom and dad met here and I am a grandchild of Margaret and Fletcher Collins. So obviously what the Oak Grove Theater means to me is family. And beyond that, community. I feel like family means anyone connected with this place and these productions. So whether I'm on stage or off stage, actress or audience, lighting designer or music festival producer, there's always a magic to this very special place. My name is Melissa Dull, and I've been playing in the woods since 2018. To me, the Grove means a sense of community and connection and a place for friends and family and love. What does the Grove mean to you? Oh, geez. Uh, it's hard to put into just words. It's, it's more a feeling. Uh, I love this place. Uh, so many people do. Uh, I was very, very fortunate to be active here when Fletcher and Margaret were still around and was probably one of the very last people who got to be one of Margaret's tribe. Uh, it was a group of people that she called on to just run around and do stuff. And uh, it's, it's my life, really. And it's, it's what has guided what I am today. Oh, it's, it's magic. It's definitely magic. And you're out here and there's a crowd and the sun's going down and the lights come up and it just transforms this place into something spectacular. It, it, like, uh, like Sam said, it, there's no words really, it's just the feeling. Hi, I'm Janie Bellurio and I've been playing in the woods since 1975. That's 45 years. The first show I was in was the musical Where's Charlie with Doug Roller and Max Swift. Good memories. Oak Grove is certainly a wonderful place to perform and it's a magical place under the stars. Hi there, my name is Justine and I have been playing in the woods since 2009 when I was part of the Pajama Game musical. When I think about what Oak Grove means to me, the word tradition comes to my mind. Both actors and audiences alike have spent so many summers over the years coming together for the shared experience of theater out at the Grove. And it has truly been an honor and a lot of fun to be part of those memories. Hi there, I'm Ben House Connect and I've been playing in the woods since 1987. When I think about what Oak Grove means to me, I think mainly what it means is friendship, friends, good times, and lots of hard work that comes out to a result that means a lot to not just yourself, but a lot of other people. I think that's about it. Pat, Tom, I want to ask you this question, because we're asking lots of folks this question. What does the Grove mean to you? Shall, shall I start? Yeah. Well, I will tell you this, Sherry. Pat and I have had a long and good life together. We count our blessings every day, and there are many, many blessings that we can count. And one of the greatest, perhaps the greatest we count every day, is our long-term experience at the Oak Grove. I, I, have learned, I have learned so much from the people that I've worked with here. And I have loved so many of the people The theater in Oak Grove is one of the most nourishing things I have ever done outside of being a wife and mother. Um, the, the people that we have met, create, creative, talented, um, hard workers. Po po positive, positive people. Positive minded people and, and the, um, the the good spirit with which we've all worked together and the 
the, the feeling that we are part of a family, that has, that has been such a precious, such a precious thing in our lives. Hello, this is my usual view of the Grove stage, so I thought I would share it with you. It's not an angle that most people get to see. Hi, my name is Ron Ramsey, and I started playing in these magical woods back in the summer of 1984. That's when Susan Polly, then Mrs. Polly to the student me, she was a teacher in Stanton, English of course, you met her in one of our uh, behind the season videos earlier. When well, she asked me to help out with a play that she was producing at some summer outdoor theater in Verona that I knew nothing about. It was Neil Simon's Come Blow Your Horn. You notice the uh, t-shirt still fits. It was a little oversized. Well, I ended up working on three out of the five shows that season, and I never left. Over the years, I've done a little bit of everything, but mostly I climb ladders to focus lights, and I also run lights for shows. And that's why I decided to record this video in the lighting booth. Over the years, I've learned so much here, from the literature to just laughing at the comedies, singing along with the musicals, getting emotional with the dramas. And I've worked with some truly wonderful people, creating memories and forging friendships to last a lifetime. It's a family. The Grove is a very special place, and I plan to keep playing in these woods for many years to come. I hope you'll be here too. I, I still use the word magic. It just, it's a magical place for me. Uh, even, even when you come out here this summer and you're just here by yourself and there's nothing happening, which is very sad. It makes me want to cry to tell you the truth, but it's just always been magic. Susan Polly? The camaraderie, you know, I really, um, well, right, the magic, but the camaraderie and meeting talented people, training people, working. But I've asked, I think this is on one of the earlier videos, I really have always remembered Margaret Collins and her lines about where community is real, there's communication, good things can happen, people talk to each other, artists, patrons, audiences get together, some dreams can be realized, Community comes alive when it creates new forms. Reality is touched with magic. There is zest, there's laughter, the rest is compassion, even imagination. Hi, my name is Mary, and I've been playing in the woods since 1992. My first show was Pippin, and my favorite things about the Grove are the adrenaline rush of a quick costume change in the wings, and the way the light hits the trees. Hi, my name is Kathy Walton LaFawn, and it has been an honor and a joy to have participated in shows on and off stage at Oak Grove Theater over the years, and to have grown up in this community, and to have felt the sense of community that Oak Grove Theater brings for all of us. Thank you, Oak Grove, for many, many years, and here's to many more. And the we can Grove think of it. is magic. It's where magic happens. It's where you can be anything you want to be, anything you're called on to be as an actor, um, the lights come up and it's a whole different world. Out in the middle of nature, the plays that are the best here are like As You Like It, where you have no set and it's just off to the hills and the grass and the trees all around and you can believe, you can really believe you're in Arden Forest. It's magic. 